before we begin and open the floor to the question and answer session, there are a few points I would like to highlight for the information of everyone present. Please, can we have silence? Please listen to this very carefully. I'm outlining the format that we will follow for the question and answer session. Mr. Muhammad Sheikh has delivered the lecture today on what Al-Quran says about Al-Kitab, that is the book of Musa, Moses, peace be upon him. All questions that will come from the floor should be directly relevant to the topic. Secondly, there are always people that are wanting to view their uh, observations, their suggestions or their comments. And in order to accommodate all the questions, I would request you please refrain from any observation. You refrain from any uh, comments as far as the uh, program was concerned. We are more than willing to listen to your observations and comments, but please do so by contacting the Islamic Center directly, where we would be more than honored to receive these comments and suggestions. But let's not waste each other's time by giving these. There are two microphones in the front, like I would mentioned to you earlier, one for the ladies and one for the gentlemen. If the, gen if the ladies who wish to ask the questions can queue up on, on your right and the gentlemen on the left, we will start from the ladies' side. One question per uh, person per time. If you have got two questions or more, in order to give everyone a chance, may I please request you ask one question and go back to the end of the line so that the other people can have a chance as well. So we will start with the ladies, then with the gentlemen, then with the ladies and that's how we'll alternate. Those individuals who have questions and do not wish to come up and have written it on, a, on the slip of paper, please have, please give it to one of the uh, coordinators and they will send it up to me at, uh, on the stage. Yes, please. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nuban Demir. I'm from Australia and um, I have seen Muhammad Sheikh's lecture in Australia and I've just come here for a holiday and I've heard that you were having a, another lecture and my question is, did, Moha, uh, did Moses go to Jerusalem uh, the Holy Land and if so can you tell me from the Quran please you want to know what did Moses go to the Holy Land Jerusalem and if so can you tell me from the Quran please okay uh, the question is somewhat like that Moses went to Jerusalem well it is not mentioned in the Quran that he went to Jerusalem but on the contrary we have I've recited a naya that he came to to sacred mosque in the sacred valley within the folds that I, that I quoted. The holy days in the Quran, there is a Quranic ayat in the Quran which is generally taken as the holy earth. I can give you a reference. Ard al Muqaddas. Ard al Muqaddas is, is the most of the people believe that the Ard al Muqaddas is Bait al Muqaddas in Jerusalem. So if you just look at that Quranic ayat, if, if you got a Quran, I will read for you, you can go and check it up in English translation, which is generally taken as Jerusalem as the holy land. Ard al-Muqaddas means the holy earth. Ard al-Muqaddas, a holy earth. And this holy earth is to be found in, in, in the world where the sacred mosque is. You see in the Quran, the Surah Maida is the Surah and Ayah is 20 and 21. Why Qala Musa li qawmihi ya qawmi ya qawmi thkuru ni'mat Allahi alaykum idh ja'ala fikum anbiya'a wa ja'alakum muluka wa a'atakum ma lam yu'ti ahadam min al-alameen. Remember Moses, Musa, Moses said to his people, remember Moses said to his people, remember the blessings of Allah on you when he made you in you prophets and made you kings and he gave you what he has not given from the worlds. 
And further it says, Ya Qawmi Dukhulul Arzal Muqaddas O my people, enter the earth a holy earth. Khatab Allahu Lakum Which He has written over you. The holy land Allah has written over people. So my question is, the generally people are saying that this Arzal Muqaddas is Jerusalem. On the contrary, we all have identified that is Masjid Iram sacred Mecca. That is the holy earth in the whole world. Everybody knows this. So Allah says, Allah has written on you that 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 Allah has written on you that holy earth, and that is not to Jerusalem. Thank you very much. The word you have used, Al Kitab, as pointing specifically to the Quran only, according to my knowledge of Arabic, which I have acquired quite a bit it could be any book that we talk about and we refer to it over and over it could be Injil it could be Torah it could be the Quran or it could be any other book that was revealed by Allah which we don't know about so you are limiting it to the Quran only on what ground because Al-Kitab means the book and when we say that when I say that that is a book I have put on a ta on the table then when next time I refer to it, I say the book is there, okay? So the book is no, uh, used in the general sense that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is speaking about one specific book. It could be Torah or Injil or the Quran, but you are limiting it to the Quran only. On what ground? Madam, I think you were sleeping in the lecture. I gave you 33 attributes of the book. Not only Quran, no. the Taurat, Injil, and Zabud. Now you are limiting to four books. I gave you 33 names. I'm not talking about the names. I'm talking about the attributes. Different. So, excuse me. You see, I gave you 33 onwards attributes of the names referring to the book, including the Quran, the Taurat, the Injil, the Hidayah, the Furqan, the Burhan, the Sultan, referring to the book. And you didn't listen. No, I did. So what and I know it too well to take it as it is. No, because when you are talking about certain person, he's tall, he's fat, he's fair, he's this, he's that. Those are all qualities of one person or the other person. We don't limit it to certain specific person. And you expect people to understand it just that this is the Quran that's talking, that's uh, uh, in the form of Injil also is the book and the uh, uh, Torah is the book then what do we understand? It means that we are changing the text of the Qur'an that, uh, or, or the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed Injil as a book in itself or Torah was a different book from the Qur'an. Excuse we are me, making man. the Qur'an all uh, up to the beginning of the, uh, of the uh, world. You see, excuse me, you have not quoted a single ayah to prove the point that the Torah is referred as the book in the Qur'an. In the Qur'an, excuse me, I, you must quote a Quranic ayat saying that the book is referring to Torah, I challenge you to quote one ayat. Kitab Musa, which means Musa's book. It doesn't say Al-Kitab. If you say Al-Kitab is the Quran and that's what was revealed, the no, book, the book, the no, book. I'm asking, and it has in three, po in three places, it says Kitab Musa, which I'm, means Musa's book. It doesn't say Al-Kitab. If it were just Al-Kitab, then it wouldn't come as Kitabu Musa. Kitabu Musa means Musa's book. Walakad Ataina Musa al Kitab. No, I, I quote What's you. What's the right translation? I quote you. Walakad Ataina Musa al Kitab. Al Kitab Musa with Al Kitab. No, no, no. I, I'm quoting. No, 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 no. You can't. Excuse me. You cannot quote a, a single ayah. From, from your. No, no. Just a minute. You said Torah is referred as a book. Sir. You give me one ayat. Excuse me, 230 times. Torah. Show me Torah as the book. We are not talking. That talking we get Quran. it from Hadith, no. which is what relevant the to the Quran. Who you gave the Quran? You are talking. You are not giving no. me. You you're can't. You are telling these people they don't know. You know. I am asking you. You show me in the Quran that Al Kitab is referred to Torah. Oh. One single ayah. Al Kitab is referred to Torah. Yes, show me. What is Torah to you? In Anzalna Taurata, Fiha Hudam Wanu, Yakumu Bian Nabi Yun al Ladin Aslamu. Surely we have revealed the Torah in its guidance and light. The Nabiun, 
the prophets who submitted governed with it with it for those who are hadu i don't have to go in detail the book is in front of you the taurat is singular and the prophets is in plural and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the khatam an nabiyyin what is the taula and what is written in it continued continuity, continuity al maida 5 aya 45 wa katabna alayhi fiha anna an nafsa bin nafsi wal ayna bil ayni wal anfa bil anfi wal udhuna bil udhuni was sinna bil sin wal juruha qisas faman tasaddaqa bihi fa huwa kafaratun la wa man lam yahkum bima anzala allah fa ulaika humus zalimun and we have written in it in the torah we that is allah we have written in it on them that is the soul is with the soul and eye is with an eye and a nose is with a nose and an ear is with an ear and a tooth is with a tooth and the wounds are related so whoever confirms with it then he has an atonement for him and who does not govern with what allah has revealed then they are oppressors what is in the torah is here in in the quran recorded preserved on people so the prophet judge the prophet governed by the torah and this is recorded this is preserved there is not a single change and it is written on people on mankind all times you don't have to learn from the other books that what is the torah the torah mentions here what is it now for prophet muhammad peace be upon him as the ayah says further in in, in 43 surah maida 43 wa kayfa yuhakkimunaka wa indahum at-tawra fiha hukm allah thumma yatawallawna min ba'd dhalik wa ma ulaika bil mu'minin and how can they, how can they govern you referring to prophet muhammad peace be upon him how can they govern you and the torah the law is near them in it in the torah in it is the government of allah hukm allah then after that they turn away they are not with the believers so the ayah says in the torah is the hukm allah where is the hukm of allah where is the hukm of allah i'm asking from the audience speak loud where is the hukm of allah thank you and how can they govern prophet muhammad and the torah is near them in it is the government of allah in the torah is the hukm of allah in the torah is the hukm of allah then after then they turn away they are not of the believers so that means the torah mentioned the quran is every prophet governed by it every prophet including musa peace be upon him Isa peace be upon him Muhammad peace be upon him all the prophets governed with the Torah ya ahl al kitab lastum ala shay'in hatta tuqimu at tarat wal injil yes o oh, people of the book you are not on anything huh? until you establish tarat and injil ya ahl al kitab lastum ala shay'in hatta tuqimu at tarat wal injil kitab is the addressee Allah is addressing to the people of the book. Yes. You have to establish the Taurat. You have to establish the Injil. It doesn't refer to to what you are saying. The Taurat is referring to the book. That's what I'm saying. That, that how come you are turning Taurat into the book? You, you are, are not saying anything. Ya al kitab las tu mala shayin hatta tuqimu Taurat wa Injil. That's where you are uh, confirming that Taurat was revealed on the people. and injil was revealed on the people allah has brought the, the evidence from your own mouth what it was revealed what, what? you said lastu mala shayin hatta tuqimul at-tawra wal injil which means that the tawra was revealed and the injil was revealed yes. and they were supposed to uh, to uh, practice it what they were supposed to practice what yes. was revealed in tawra so but they were the supposed of... to practice what was revealed in injil for them right for each Kaum, there was a book that was revealed, where? where you are mixing that Al Kitab was the only Kitab that was revealed from the beginning till the end. There was no uh, such thing as Taurat wal Injil. You have brought the uh, the quotation yourself. Thank you. Aaudhu billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
ومن يكفر بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله واليوم الاخر فقد ضل ضلالا بعيدا and whoever disbelieves in Allah and his malaika and his books and his prophets and the, and the day after then verily he has dis, he has dis, he has become astray in the worst kind of a, of the being <laughs> very very astray what are the books in this verse what are the books open surah bayyana chapter look bayyana have my own quran yeah open Surah Bayyana. Yeah, Surah Bayyana 98. I will repeat this question. He is saying there is a, an ayah in the Quran where it refers to Kutubun, Kutubihi. In his books, Allah has referred in the Quran six times as books and 230 times as the book. You see, I will give you exact quotation of 230 times Allah refers to Al Kitab. So his question is, what are those books? And brother forgot, again, I have already said attributes of the book is the Quran, the Hikmat, the Taurat, the Injil, the Zabur, the Furqan, the Burhan, and it is printed in the booklet. So those are the books which you are referring to, written in, in the, in the, in the Al-Kitab. Now the specific answer is surah from Surah Bayyina. So in Surah Bayyina Allah says, Rasulun min Allah yatlu suhufan mutahara fiha kutubun qayyima Translation is a messenger from Allah recites pages suhuf means in Arabic pages purified the pages purified Rasul comes from Allah he recites the pages purified in the pages Fiha Kutubun Qayyima in the pages are written books meaning every ayat is a book meaning written what the Rasul recite Rasul recite the ayat of Allah Rabbana Baba Fihim Rasulam Minhu Yatlu Alehim Ayatika O our Lord raise among them a messenger who recite the ayat and the ayat excuse me I am reading the ayat I am reading the ayat O my Lord raised appoint them a messenger who recite the ayats and here it says Yatlu Rasulu min Allah Rasul comes from Allah Rasulu min Allah Rasulu min Allah Yatlu Suhufan Mutahara He recites the pages purified the pages purified contains in it in the pages are the books or the writings Qayyama so those books are every ayat so Allah when refers to Kutubihi He is referring to ayat Rasulun min Allah, Rasul come from Allah, Yatlu Suhufan Mutahara, he recites the pages purified. Fiha, in the pages, Kutubun, Fiha Kutubun Qayyima, in the pages are writings or books established. So every ayat is a, a book of Allah. That, then that means that in every line there's a book. Then there's a book. Yeah, ayat. Rasul recite the ayat or not? Then in every page is a book. Yes. In every page is a book. No, page, within the page is an ayat. Within each page is an ayat within written each. by Allah. Rasulun min Allah yatlu suhufan mutahara. Rasul comes from Allah, recites the ayahs from Allah. That is written fiha kutubun qayyama. In it are the books, writings established. So every ayat is a written. And when it says al kitab, contains all the ayats. Thank you very much. That's not, Thank you. That's not an answer. Why? That's all right. No what? problem. I said that's all right. That's what I've, uh, I have. That my little knowledge I have explained to you. If you not understand, that's not my job. I gave you an answer. Maybe it's not clear to you. So it's, it's very clear part. to me. It's very clear to me. My, it is my question is: it down. When it says this, when it says "women yet for whoever disbelieves in in Allah and His prophets in His books," so here no, you're talking about something which is which is in one page where it says it's talking about something which is an entire book. No. If you're saying this, then it means that in each page, then there's, then there's little books in each page. You're yes. trying to say there's little books in each page? Every page contains the ayahs. Rasulun min Allah, yatlu suhufan mutahara. Rasul comes from Allah. He you're just taking this out of context, you know. It's very, very obvious. Every, almost all the verses that, that you've been writing tonight, that you've been reciting tonight, 
They've been taken out of context, and okay. you're just trying to say the one point. The one point you're trying to say is that the book of Moses is the exact same book as the book of Jesus. Okay, who then, who then gave, uh, is the book of, Suhu for Musa, are they Quran also? You want to listen? So, yes, I do. Okay. Suhu for Musa and Injil Isa, is it also Quran? Because if, if, if the book that was given to, to, to Moses is the Quran, and also the book that was given to Jesus is the Quran, then also it should be that the book that was given to Moses was also the, uh, to, excuse me, to Ibrahim was also the Quran. Is this, is this what you're trying to say? I, I spoke for one and a half hour. Uh, about, 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 about Moses? No, so not about, not about Jesus. Moses. I said this, I hold in my hand, is a book, is the book written. When read is Quran, this is a book. So when Allah says, when we gave Moses the book, it was not Quran, it was a written material given to Musa. Writing was given to him. I did not say Quran. When I said when it was revealed on Muhammad sallallahu that is Quran. Bima nuzil ala Muhammad. So this book is written. Anzalo wa anzalo min qabr. There's also in the verse where it says, in a, where, Show me. Where, where it says, uh, where it says, when zalna Torah wal injil min qabr. Who did the nash? Which I, which I. Uh, Ali Imran. Where, where it says that anzalna. <coughs> you take this Quran, please, easy for you to, to exactly. No, I just quote. need a little bit of water, please. Where it says that anzalna qa'ini al injil wal wa Torah min qabr. So it says min qabr, so it's saying before. That I, I have, I have. Al Imran 3. I sent the Quran and Injil before. You see the Torah. It's also in Surah Ma'idah, it's also in Surah in many places. Actually, the first question you said that I am quoting ayahs from out of context. Excuse me, well, just come one by one. I asked you, I asked you one question. Yes. One question only, and you haven't answered it yet. The one question is that what are the books that are mentioned? That it says Allah and His type. Allah has, has many prophets or not? Yes. He has many malaika or not? Yes. Taib. He also has, he also has uh, many, uh, so, but, but, but the book is one. Excuse the book me. is one or, or more than one? Excuse me. Excuse me, is the book one or I'm, more I'm than one? I'm answering you. Okay. If, I, if, you, if you call this complete is Al-Kitab, Al-Kitab, or you can call it books. Every ayah, 6,000 above ayahs which are recorded in the book is total books. Or Al Kitab. I'm not answering that I'm question. I'm asking that. The question is one. I answered the that. question is one. The question is one, and you keep going away from that one question. Okay. If it's one book. Yes, this is. That all the prophets had. Yes. Yes. This is. It's all one prophet. How? 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 Excuse how me. Excuse me. Yes. All the prophets had the one book. Yes. So that means that 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 for instance, Ibrahim had had the, had the Quran also. Did I say Quran? Kitab book. The book which is the Quran. No. You are not, you are listening for one and a half, you are not understanding. Nobody is understanding. If no one understands, that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm asking you one question. If you're saying it's one book, if you're saying it's one book, if you're saying it's one book, did, is it the same book that, 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 because we know that there are prophets. How are they prophets? They get what's called wahi. What is wahi? Why is revelation? The revelation is the Quran. It's what Allah has revealed. Ma anzalna alayka wa anzalna min qabl. Ma anzalna alayka wa ma anzalna min qabl. What we have revealed to you and what we have revealed before you. So it means it's two revelations or at least more. <laughs> Excuse me. Can we have some? Anybody else? Because this gentleman, I don't know what question is now posing. It's quite many questions. It's you not see, many questions. It's you, one question. I am telling you that. Excuse me. I said, Kaan and Nasu Ummatum Wahida. If these people can hear, it's not my problem. If you can't hear, that's not my problem. Kaan and Nasu Ummatum Wahida. Faba Fallahu Nabiyin. Mankind is one single nation. Allah appointed prophets, Nabiyin, Mubashirin, and Munzirin, who give good news and warns. Wa Anzala Ma'ahumul Kitaba Bil Haq. And with them, He reveals the book. The book. If you can't understand, and they can't understand, that's not my problem. Assalamu alaikum. As I understand it, uh, the Quran existed right from the beginning. And uh, what the Jews believe or the Christians believe, this book is, is not the, what the Quran refers to as Torah or Injil. No, can, can you uh, repeat the question please? Uh, as I understand it from your lectures, uh, 
the Quran existed from, uh, from the time it was revealed to Moses. Uh, that means this book, the, the presently believed uh, Injil and Torah are not what, what it is, a uh, kitab. What? It is not the kitab. What yeah. is your question? I, I think I am not understanding your question at all. What are you trying to say? What I say is, what we now believe to be Ahli Kitab is not those people who believe the Ahli Kitab are those who believe the Bible, the present day Bible. The, recognize, the, the world recognizes them as the Bible and the Torah. Isn't it? You see this... No, as I, I understand that... Not, I, you're, you're not clear, your question is not clear. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. It doesn't contain the Torah of the Quran, the Torah. Alright, alright. Torah is a Hebrew word. Torah, meaning instruction, and there's, that is first five books. Yes. Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. These yes, I understand. Are two. This is not Torah. As a, I understand. Torah uh, of the Quran. I understand it. What is your question? The, my, my question is, what the Islamic world recognizes as Ahle Kitab, that is, those people who believe in the in the book which you are holding in your hand, the Torah which you are holding in your hand, and the Bible which you are holding in your hand. Who? This? This, yes. No, no, just a minute. I read you the ayat. Yes, yes. I read you from which ayat? I, I quite understand that. Then, I understand that the Quran is that one which was revealed to Moses. No, the book was written, the written was given, the reading material was given to Musa, revealed on Muhammad Sallam as Quran. Written the book, where is, we gave Moses the book. Yes. Aminu bima nuzzil ala Muhammad Believe in what is being revealed on Muhammad Yes So Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is being revealed The book yes. Given was given to Musa Yes I agree with that So My, my question is The Islamic world believes Ahle Kitab as those people Who believe in the Injil which you are holding in your hand This is, this is no Injil No this is uh, say uh, the Bible No the, So you see this is Gospel according to Mark Gospel according to Matthew Gospel according to John this is not Injil. All right, the, uh, the let me let me say it is the it is the Bible. Is it Bible? Yes. So uh, when Allah says the word Al Kitab in the Quran is Al Kitab this book. La Alik Al Kitab La I agree with you. Right. I what is your question? You. My question is the Islamic world believes when they say Ahl Kitab can marry an Ahl Kitab or a Muslim. Then you, then this you see, yeah. this 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 started an issue. That what does what do the Muslim world believe to be Ahle Kitab? The Muslims are sitting in the audience and I was reading from the Quranic ayahs. So Muslims believe every word in the ayat yes. is. Yes, so they do. there is not a single statement in the Quran that they should believe the Bible as the people of the book. No. There is not a single statement in the Quran. In the Quran. Yes, I agree with you, but no, I you probably I'm not able to explain my question yeah, that's properly. Please, that's what my I'm question what is, is your question. My my question is generally. They, are, they must be wrong according to our lecture today that the, the Islamic world, the Muslims say an Ahl Kitab can marry a Muslim. That is a separate issue. Can Ahl Kitab? Look, I, I read an ayah. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُدُ لَيْسَتِ النَّسَارَ لَا شَيْنِ وَقَالَتِ النَّسَارَ لَيْسَتِ الْيَهُدُ لَا شَيْنِ وَهُمْ يَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ So the Jews say that the Christians are not anything and the Christians say that the Jews are not anything both are reciting the book Al Kitab. Reciting this book. And you don't know. That's Allah say you have come to know today. They are also reading the book. This is just a dummy in front of you, showing it to you. They are reading this book to find out what's going on. So my, my question is still there that is a marriage between a, a person who is believing that that dummy book, is it valid with a Muslim? I think you see, I we are not talking marriage. Okay, excuse me. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, please. Uh, my name is Asif Maru. Excuse me. No, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Let me, there are other people away. And my question is. Yes, what is your question? My question is the Moses, you know, brought the book, this Quran. And why this book again revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Or, and what was the reason why the book was again revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is there any quotation in the Quran which uh, uh, clarify this thing that the book was again and again revealed to? You see this question is that when Moses brought, brought the book, 
why it was revealed on Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Is that correct? So I, I, in, in one of the lecture I explained that, that people made their book on papers and they are hiding it, much of it and showing it, some of it. So Allah says in Surah Maidah 9, 15 ayah, Ya Al Kitab, O people of the book, Qajjaakum Rasuluna, without doubt there has come to you our messenger, Yubayyinu Lakum Kathiram Mimma Kuntum Tukfuna, he clarifies for you most of it from what you are hiding. Wa min al kitab from the book. Wa yafu an kasir and passing at passing most of it. Qajjaakum min Allahi nurun wa kitabu mubin and without doubt there has come to you from Allah light and a clear book. Now in this ayat Allah says ya al kitab O people of the book. Qajjaakum rasulum rasuluna surely. Without doubt, there has come to you our messenger. You bayyinu lakum kathiram mimma kuntum tufum. He clarifies for you most of it from what you were hiding. Min al kitab from the book. Wayafu an kasir and passing it over much. So the point is, in our times, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a messenger who is revealing of the most of the book they were hiding, which they made on papers. So they will keep on hiding it. They will not let people ever know. So Rasul came to to Yubayinu lakum kafirum mimma kuntum tukfum min al kitab. So Allah said He clarifies most of most of it from what you were hiding. In all times, the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to expose what the people were hiding in the book. That people, those people who made the book into papers. Your lecture was very informative, very enlightening. However, there is a small point which I find confusing and it requires some clarification from you. There are many verses in Quran regarding events that took place during Prophet Muhammad's lifetime like Battle of Ahad, Battle of Badr, Battle of Trench, Treaty of Odaiba, Order to Change Qibla, Prediction about Abu Lahab's fate. Do you mean to say that these Quranic ayats which are related to Prophet Muhammad's lifetime was also present in the book revealed to Prophet Moses. If it is not so, then how can this book, I mean Quran, be same as the book revealed to Prophet Moses? I would be grateful if you would kindly throw some light on it. Excuse me. Now, now you have mentioned so many things. Can you quote one reference? No, you see. No, excuse me. This is very easy to give the flowery talks. Give me one reference which you are pointing to but from the book. Battle of Battle of Badr. No, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. give me a reference yeah. where you are referring to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu era, you give me one reference from the book. Ya so that is. No, that excuse be, me, yeah. I am asking a question, you give me a reference from the book which you all quoted all these sentences. Anybody who want, like, excuse me, don't talk from there, please. You come up to the mic and ask a question. I am asking you to give me a reference where you think it is Muhammad Sallallahu era. To me, the whole book. Excuse me, don't you come over here. Excuse me. Excuse, that's not a way. Please, I am telling you, I want to. Uh, the Quran is speaking to an individual, present continuous. That is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Present continuous messenger is referred in the Quran as a present continuous messenger. Ma kana Muhammadun abadim mi rajalikum walakin Rasulullah wa khatam al nabiyin. Muhammad is not any ancestor from your from any of your men. He is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets. So he is a present continuous messenger in all times. So any refer he is referring to is an historical reference, not from the book. You give me a ayah which you think is referring to 1400 years old. He was not an ancestor from your from your men. Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim mirjalikum. There is not a reference which you are referring to. What I understand is that Prophet Muhammad had been extensively... No, I am not asking your understanding. Give me a quotation from the Quran which you are referring to. There are 6,000 above ayahs. I am asking you a single reference which you have quoted from here. Ya Allah amanu So that is about... That you is can't, about I, I can't Muhammad. understand now. Can't understand now, can't understand, people can't understand long time back. Ya Yuladin Amanu, I'm talking. Ya Yuladin Amanu, Ya Al Kitab, Ya Bani Israel, Ya Bani Adam, Ya Yunnas. 
But I am telling you all these addresses, any man can understand any time. You don't have to go in one particular era to understand all this. When Allah says, yeah, you are Nas, he is talking to mankind of all time. When he says, yeah, you are Ladina Amanu, he is addressing to the believers of all time. When he says, yeah, Al-Kitab, he is addressing to the people of the book of all time. So Allah is talking, you just have to tune the frequency. He is talking, he is communicating to all mankind of all times. But so there is not a problem for me to follow. Ne, but so he is describing Musa Islam time, Isa Islam time, Nuhal Islam time, all the times and including Muhammad Islam time, time for you to understand and follow. But what about people in... I am a people. What, what about people during Prophet Moses time? Was these ayahs... Excuse me, you are not following me. In the book, Allah says, Ya you are Nas. Is it Moses time? No. I am asking, is it Moses time? No. So who are you? You are a mankind. So when I say, Ya you are Nas, when he says, Ya you are Ladina Manu, when he says, Oh people of the book. So in what time? In Moses time? In Noah's time? In Ibrahim's time? Any time, when you read the ayat, the message is clear to you. So when you read the ayahs, it is clear to any time, whenever you are there in the world. So what you are implying is, that all these 6600 ayahs that are present in Quran, were also present in Torah. In all, in all time, this book is the book. This book is existing all time. Okay, this is what I wanted to know. It's one question. Yes, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There is one ayah in Quran in which Allah Ta'ala says about the Quran, this is my zikr and its safety is my responsibility. And we find that since the time of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this book is safe on text in the form of papers and in hearts of the Hufas. If it is the same book which was revealed on Hazrat Musa and it means God's this promise will hold valid for that also. Do we find any hafiz or any copy of this book before the time of uh, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Matharul Ladina Yuhumilu Taurat, the example of those who are holding the Torah meaning in their minds, Thumma Lam Yahmiluha Kamatal Himari. They did not hold it as they should have hold it. They are holding it like a donkey. Yahmilu Asfara. So Allah is calling you the mankind who is preserving this in their mind this Torah and they are holding like a donkey. They full load on their mind, they don't understand anything. So this is Allah Bi Samatal Qomil Ladina. So it is very evil for those who, who have been rejecting the eyes of Allah. Allah does not guide for those who are oppressors. In all time the Quran, the Torah is in the book. This is being, people have been holding this, taking this with them without realizing what they are reading. So the same Allah says they are like a donkey. The whole book they are holding and they don't understand is the same book. The whole lecture is on that. And now I read Inna Anzalla Taurat and I said Taurat is singular, Prophet is plural. I read an ayat Kitab is singular and Prophet is plural. Big, big sermons are giving these, these people not quoting one ayat. Okay, look, Allah said, here the Musa was given this book. I read the book of all. I asked from the hall, where are those words? Words Moses brought. Where are those words? Which book Moses was given? Everybody says Allah, Quran, Kitab. So it is recorded. Every word I said, everybody in the hall was sh shouting like, like this. So this book which they are trying to convey, okay, this is the book of Musa, the Old Testament, the five Genesis and Exodus numbers and Deuteronomy is not mentioned in the book. And Allah did not refer to Prophet Muhammad to go and listen to any other book. He says, if you are in doubt as to what we have revealed unto you, go ask those who are reading the book before you. So he is referring to the same book. If people cannot understand, that's not my problem. I have delivered the ayahs, the booklets are in front of you. You can come up to my center at any time and have a dialogue. And if somebody wants to debate with me, book a hall, come up and talk and have a debate. Put one and a half on you for and one half an hour I speak. And let the audience decide what is the truth. So please, this, this, these people are holding this Torah like a donkey. Before, before you disperse, just a short announcement. For the ladies, the, the dinner is served on the back lawn, which is towards your right. And for the gentlemen, it's on your right. Thank you very much. <laughs>